Astronomy has a new star photographer, and we mean that quite literally. The people behind the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile have now published the first images taken by the observatory, giving us a breathtaking preview of what the world's largest digital camera will reveal in the future. Within a few hours, the Rubin Observatory captured millions of stars and galaxies, as well as thousands of asteroids in breathtaking detail. Today, we'll show you the power inherent in this marvel of technology and the exciting tasks that the monster camera will be tackling in the coming years. So be sure to stay tuned until the end if you want to know how our view of the stars will change from now on. We live in a time that our ancestors could only dream of. After all, we are pointing ever more powerful telescopes at the mysteries of the universe, which are providing us with increasingly groundbreaking insights into our cosmic home. The James Webb Telescope is at the forefront of this, already exceeding all expectations and revealing structures that were completely invisible in the past. The spectacular near-infrared images of the earliest galaxies and black holes give us unprecedented insight into the early days of the universe and remind us time and again that our theories and models do not always correspond to the reality of space. As is well known, Webb has already found a whole series of impossible objects that, according to our predictions, should not exist at all. But that's not all. In addition to the confusing inconsistencies in the early history of the cosmos, the nature of dark energy still represents an unsolved mystery in astronomy. Added to this are countless short-lived events whose origins and mechanisms are completely unexplained. But now, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile could play a key role in finally shedding some light on this perplexing area of research. Named after the U.S. astronomer Vera Rubin and only recently completed, the new Mir telescope was not installed on the summit of Cerro Pachon by chance. After all, its location at an altitude of 2,682 meters with its clear, dry atmosphere is ideal for observing the sky without any disturbing influences. And while the observatory has been equipped with an 8.40 meter primary mirror for this purpose, its real heart is the camera. It's actually nothing less than the largest digital camera ever built. In concrete terms, this means that the camera with a diameter of 1.6 meters and a length of 3 meters, is similar in size to a small car, and that it has an incredible resolution of 3200 megapixels. And perhaps, to put that into perspective, the resolution of our modern 4K televisions is around 8.3 million pixels, but a single image taken with the Rubin Observatory's camera contains an impressive 3.2 billion pixels. At the same time, the camera captures an area of the sky more than 40 times the size of the full moon per shot. In addition, the observatory is also exceptionally fast, both in terms of the movement of the telescope dish and the processing of data. Thanks to the enormous computing power of the associated computer infrastructure, the facility can process about 20 terabytes of data per night, recording up to 10 million changes in the objects observed in the sky. What insights will the Rubin Observatory provide? With all this technical information in mind, the question naturally arises as to what tasks the Rubin Observatory will actually be dedicated to. The short answer is that over the next 10 years, it will scan the southern sky more comprehensively than ever before. As part of this, the telescope will produce a complete view of the southern sky every three to four nights. And at the end of this so-called legacy survey of space and time, it will have captured every point in the sky over 800 times in high resolution. The result of the survey will therefore be an ultra-high resolution, wide-angle time-lapse image of the cosmos. And the bottom line is that a data set will be compiled that includes around 40 billion objects, such as asteroids in the solar system, stars in the Milky Way, Researchers also hope to gain important new insights into the overall structure of the cosmos. For example, the distribution of galaxies and large structures could provide information about the mysterious dark matter and dark energy, thereby complementing other telescopes, such as Euclid, in a decisive way. The Rubin Observatory will also target short-lived phenomena. Breathtaking spectacles such as supernovae, star collisions, and brightly glowing matter being swallowed by distant supermassive black holes. 
The corresponding flickering could in turn reveal how often and at what rate the early mass monsters consume matter, and thus perhaps help to solve the mystery of the impossibly large black holes in the young universe. The images taken over a period of 10 years could also trace the development of such early feeding frenzies for the first time ever. Furthermore, new observational data on colliding neutron stars and so-called tidal disruption events, meaning the destruction of stars by black holes, is also needed. As a small interim conclusion, it can be said that the researchers' expectations of the Rubin Observatory are not exactly modest. But the good news is that the telescope has already impressively demonstrated its potential. The new facility recently flexed its camera muscles and showed us what 3200 megapixels really means. The spectacular first images in detail. First things first, if you want to take another look at the images after watching our video, you can easily do so on the Rubin Observatory website. And although the telescope's actual scientific work will not begin until September, and the photos are therefore only test shots, they already emphatically demonstrate the breathtaking insights and discoveries that await us in the coming years. To the untrained eye, the images may not look much different from those taken by other telescopes. But that's mainly because our everyday screens are simply not capable of displaying the true power of the 3200 megapixel camera in its full resolution. If every pixel of a single image from the monster camera were to be reproduced by a pixel on an Ultra HD television, it would take 400 televisions to show the image in its full size. In other words, a snapshot of the Rubin Observatory is about the size of a basketball court completely covered with Ultra HD TVs. And in fact, in just 10 hours of testing, the camera managed to capture razor-sharp images of millions of stars and galaxies, as well as thousands of asteroids in the solar system. One particularly impressive image shows the Virgo star cluster, located near the constellation Virgo. More precisely, this vast collection of luminous structures is located around 50 million light-years away from us. However, the Rubin Observatory did not capture this impressive cluster with a single snapshot. Instead, it created an image composed of over 1,100 overlapping individual images, resulting in 3 trillion pixels. The bottom line is that the image covers an area about 70 times larger than the full moon and shows around 10 million galaxies. And although 10 million galaxies sound gigantic at first glance, this is only 0.05% of the 20 billion galaxies that the observatory will observe over the next 10 years. A detailed image showing a small section of the upper left corner of the overall picture reveals a series of breathtaking details. This allows us to marvel with our own eyes at how three galaxies are merging with each other in the upper right corner. The fragments of the spiral arms indicate that these were originally separate star clusters. And not far below, we can see two bluish shimmering spiral galaxies standing directly next to each other. At least that's how it looks in the image. But in reality, the structures are at different distances from Earth, which is why they will not merge into a new galactic world in the future. And if we now let our gaze wander down to the left, we are confronted with countless small, orange-colored to reddish galaxies that belong to a galaxy cluster in the background. It is, of course, no coincidence that the objects appear in this particular color. The corresponding redshift indicates that they lie several billion light-years behind the foreground Virgo galaxy cluster. And while we're on the subject of colors, we mustn't forget to mention this breathtaking image of two emission nebulae. Here we can see the dominant Lagoon Nebula and the much smaller Triffid Nebula in the upper right. These colorful formations are located in a star-filled region 5,200 light-years away in the constellation Sagittarius, and the corresponding photo comprises almost 680 individual images and was taken over a period of seven hours. Combining so many images reveals even the most delicate, faint details allowing us to marvel at the bright young stars and glowing gases in all their glory. And while the first test images are simply overwhelming for the rest of us, they are already of exceptional scientific value to experts. Researchers have already made numerous discoveries in the photos, including 2100 asteroids that were previously completely unknown to experts. These include seven near-Earth objects, which fortunately pose no threat to our home planet. 
Whether this will also be the case in the future is, of course, another matter entirely. But experts are certain that the number of known asteroids will increase dramatically in the near future. Mario Urich from the Rubin team said the following last fall. It took us 200 years to find all the asteroids we know today. In the first three to six months of Rubin, we will double that number. Specifically, scientists expect the observatory to increase the number of known asteroids from 1 to 5 million. Elsewhere, however, it would be enough if the known number were increased from 8 to 9. Because if it really exists, the Rubin Observatory could finally succeed in adding the ominous, as yet undiscovered Planet 9 to the star maps. And you can now add our videos to your YouTube cards. Just click on the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss a new video from us. See you soon.